Hello Aquarius and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Um, I'm checking into your love life Aquarius. Let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. All right, so I've got divine intervention on the bottom of the deck here and a stray card. Um, okay, so this card was mixed up in this deck. I had no idea. Um, but when a stray card comes out, it kind of, it, it really calls the attention to it, okay? Um, it happens to us all, but this, this is kind of good. It's, this person has been juggling. They've been, they've been trying to make a decision. Twos are like, it's time to choose something, okay? Um, so they've been trying to make a decision between you and someone else. This person's been juggling you, and now the divine is intervening. I feel like they're burning that karmic situation down. I feel like there's a masculine who chose a karmic over you, and this karmic has been teaching them a harsh lesson this whole time during that relationship. Now spirit is coming in to basically bring down a tower, okay? The spirit is going to destroy that relationship, okay? And set your person free. They're having this enlightenment, an epiphany, right? They want to have a rebirth. They want a new beginning. Um, and they're ready. Yeah, I'm hearing, and I'm ready to take a chance again. Ready to put my love on the line with you. Yeah, um, how does it go? It's very Manilow, you guys. <laughs> this person could be listening to, like, some really old love songs, you know. Um, I don't know. I feel like they're listening to, like, love song kind of music. But, yeah, they're ready to take a chance again. They're ready to come forward. They're, they're taking this risk this leap of faith, and they're going to be coming towards you to talk to you. Now, when this card came out, I'm feeling like you're seeing a lot of signs around you, um, repetitive numbers, or like I keep seeing my birth date um, on the clock, okay? You could, that, that could be something odd that's happening to you. You could be seeing a lot of, I don't know why I'm seeing like birds, um, flocks of birds, ravens, blackbirds, crows, okay, things like that. Um, you're seeing a lot of coincidences. So, you know, the other, the other day I was watching a movie um, and the name, my person's name was the name of a character in the movie and then it, it showed a couple of advertisements, some, um, you know, some ads through the movie and my person's name was brought up again in the ad. So it's like you're seeing these weird coincidences. You may be seeing like um, their same kind of car driving around. You know, um, you could be, I don't know, you could all of a sudden like have to go somewhere and it ends up being someplace where you guys used to go to eat dinner, something like that. You're getting some kind of major message from the universe. Yeah, and in your dreams too. You may be seeing this person in your dreams a lot lately. Um, or that could be coming up. If you have a dream about this person approaching you, that they're about to approach you. They're coming in. They're getting ready to take the risk. They know that um, they know that they may not have another chance here. Yeah, this person in the past, they've been a player. They've been, they they were dating other people, juggling you with karmics, okay? Going out, partying, just doing whatever they want. But I feel like this person is going through some kind of change, some kind of transformation. It even says rebirth right here, an epiphany and rebirth on the bottom of the card. So... Um, I feel like this was something in their past, and this person, they may still have those tendencies, though, but now all they want is you. Look at this. This person's being very nostalgic. Number one, I feel like um, this karmic situation could be ending in a massive fight. There could be things getting broken, busted up. I feel like the karmic is breaking this masculine stuff. 
um, this this karmic situation is ending with a lot of fire, rage, envy, and jealousy, okay? And karma, a lot of karma here. But this person is making a choice because I feel like they just can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop thinking about um, the memories of the past with you. Yeah, you're about to get a text message or a phone call from this person. Um, but here's the thing. I mean, with everything going on in the background, this person may not be ready to come towards you yet. Okay? Yeah, thank you, Spirit. They still need to heal. They still need to do some work on themselves, okay? They are making progress because now they want to put the player ways behind and they want to come towards you and have a real, a real relationship, okay? Yeah, a real relationship, okay? This is, um, I feel like this could very well be a twin flame soulmate connection, twin flame soul contract, soul connection, past lives. Okay, this is something that was meant to be. It was supposed to be. It was supposed, you two were supposed to come together, uh, I feel, in this lifetime. Or your person was supposed to right the wrongs in this lifetime. And I feel like they are coming towards you to do that part. Um, your, whether or not you get with this person, that's going to be your decision, okay? Because I feel like they still have some work that they need to do. They, they're still, imp st trying to improve their life, but they're, you know, they're coming from, this is somebody that you haven't been able to trust. I don't know if you can trust them or not. It, they're kind of in the middle of a healing process. And because they're in the middle of it, they still could have some toxic tendencies. They still could be um, tempted with something else. Okay, so yeah. Um, some of you are moving away or this person, you know what? I kind of get the sense that they're moving out of a home into a new one, possibly in your area. They want to change this around. They um, they want to start over. They just want a completely new start, okay? Yeah, and they definitely are in love with you. They're hoping that if they come in, like, come towards your area, because you could have recently moved and, and moved to a new location, a new town, a new state, something. I feel like if this person feels if they moved in your direction to your location, you know, or near you, that they could get you to fall in love with them all over again. So this person is already saying they know you don't feel the same way that you used to. You know, they know you don't. You're even looking like kind of guarded here. Okay? You're looking guarded in this picture. Like you, you don't really want to deal with them again. So yeah, they just want to, they want to start over. They want to make you fall in love with them all over again. That's what they want. Okay. But they, they feel like they need to be closer to you to do it. So this person is going to be moving. Okay. They're going to be moving in your area and then knocking on your door. They feel like there's unfinished business here. They don't want this over. They know they need to make this right. This person, I'm telling you, they want to romance you, okay? They want to romance you. They want to make you fall in love with them again. But I feel like, you know, I'm just looking at the word baggage here on this card, if you can see that. This person does come with some baggage, I feel that they still need to heal from, okay? They're in like the middle of their healing process. They're not done with it yet. So, I mean, and we're constantly healing. We're constantly changing. But I mean, this person has some baggage that spirit wants you to know about. 
so that you don't bring that into the next relationship with you know what i mean they can't bring it with them they've got to spend some time healing this person it feels like to me either either they're very enthusiastic about getting back together with you or this could also be somebody who doesn't like to be alone and they go from one person to the next without having any time alone and during that alone time is so important you know there's nothing wrong with it there's nothing shameful about it it's the time that you spend to heal from what you've been through and this person is kind of trying to skip that part and and i feel like it's very important you know they're trying to yeah they i feel like look it says conceal disguise it also says hidden motives and some lying. So this person, I feel like they're coming in not completely honest. Okay, they're, they're, here's the thing. They're not being honest with themselves. They're not taking the time to go into hermit energy, be single for a while. Just be single. Be on your own for a while and heal, right? They're not doing that. I feel like they're masking they're masking some baggage that they keep bringing with them from one relationship to the next okay this back and forth energy and the baggage and they have a pattern it says patterns here they have a pattern of doing that this is somebody who doesn't like to be alone and without that alone time they can't heal and so they bring the bag the baggage from one relationship to the next. So by the time this person gets to you, they're going to have a whole load of baggage that they're bringing into your connection. And so, yeah, I you need to be aware of that, okay? Plus this person has some kind of pattern about going to a better option. You know, about always looking for where the grass is greener. All right. So I feel like this person is still, they need to grow collective. They're, they're definitely, they're having an awakening. Like they're learning. They're having a rebirth, an epiphany. But that doesn't mean that they're ready. Okay. It doesn't mean that they're ready. And right now I feel like the truth is, You've been betrayed too much by this person and you're already out here possibly dating someone new, meeting someone new, okay? So you could be just now starting to date again or thinking about it, right? Um, you're starting to live your life again, collective. You're, you've healed from this person. You know, you're feeling good, you're looking good, you're smiling, you're enjoying yourself, you're meeting new people, you've done the healing work. I, you know, sometimes I, I feel like some of these people want to come back in so that you can heal them. Okay? Listen, if especially if you're a light worker, right? A divine being, right? Um, you have this healing ability. It's just part of your nature. And people can, people can um, recognize that from like a long ways away. It's a light, okay? It's a very bright light. So you attract people who are broken, people who need healing, people who um, have been through it, you know, or have issues. And I feel like this person, they want to run back to you um, they're hoping that they can get you to fall in love with them again, you know, but I'm not seeing in here much about them being like in love with you, in love with you. Okay. I feel like this person needs your energy. They need your healing and they don't like to be alone. They don't like to be alone. Yeah. They want to come towards you. It's your energy that they're in love with, but if they saw something shinier collective, they would be ch they would be chasing after someone else, and spirit knows that. Okay, spirit knows that. You need to know that. This person's just not ready. They're like in the middle of 
in the middle of learning, in the middle of healing. They're not, they're not quite ready for you. They definitely want to get back together. They're definitely coming in with a love offer. This person, they want to be, they want to be in your life. They, they want this to work. They do. Um, that's what they want right now. But this person can change their mind at the drop of a, of a, of a hat. They can change their mind at the turn of a dime. All it takes is a great set of legs to walk by this person and they can be tempted. Okay. So I feel like what they want and what they're ready for are not the same thing. You see what I'm saying? They want you in their mind. They don't want to be single. They want to come towards you. Okay but they're not ready because they have to spend some time single and they're not doing that and they're bringing the baggage of other relationships straight to you you know they're uh, if you get a proposal from this person which it looks like you might they may have a ring they may want to get engaged because they don't want to be alone and they see you as the one who can heal them. Okay, but if you get a proposal from this person, I feel like they do mean it. They don't realize, I feel, that they're doing this, right? They don't realize that they keep going and jumping from one relationship to the next. They don't realize why they do it and what kind of effect it has on them and everybody else. So that's why they need to go, oh, they need to spend some time alone, collective. They need to spend some time alone so that they can figure out why they do it. They need to recognize they're doing it in the first place. And then they need to figure out why. And then they need to take a look at that trauma and heal from it so they don't keep doing it again. Okay? Is this offer legit? Yeah, I feel like it is. I feel like they want to get back together with you. They want you to fall in love with them again. But do they even know that they're not quite ready for reconciliation? No, they don't even know they're not ready yet. Okay? You see what I mean? And you, you're already out here dating other people. Yeah, and they're just extremely attracted to you. And you know what? Everybody seems to be kind of attracted to you right now. It's your energy, the energy you're in. It's um, that divine feminine energy, okay? That empathic healing energy, um, empress energy, okay? I'm telling you, everybody, I feel like everybody who notices you as you walk by, you know, you can walk into a room and change the whole energy of the room, okay? And everybody's looking at you and they all kind of want that. You know, people either want the same kind of energy you have or people just want to be with you, okay? Um, you're going to get a lot, of a, a lot of people magnetically attracted to you because you're in that Empress energy, okay? because you're high vibing, because of your light, because of the love you put out, because of your smile, your intelligence, your sweet heart. You're like everything, okay? You could be a Virgo. You could be a Taurus, Aries. Maybe a Cancer or a Pisces. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So yeah, when this person comes in and wants to get back together, they do want to get back together. They really do. But they don't seem to recognize that they want to get back together for the wrong kind of reasons. Okay? All right? So use your intuition. Use your intuition. Go with your gut feeling on everyone who approaches you approaches you you may even be approached by a lot of people here okay and recognize the signs when spirit is showing you a lot of signs right now that this person from your past wants to come back around but you're going to get other signs too like warnings you know this reading 
could be a major sign, a warning for someone about this person. Do they want you? Yes. Yes, they do. Do they mean it? Yes, of course they do. But they want the right thing for, for all the wrong reasons, okay? Yeah, so use your intuition. Um, let's see. Let's Instead of that, let's get how they feel about you, okay? Because I'm not seeing a lot of, like, emotion, okay? Um, yeah, they're, they don't think that they're going to get a chance. This could be, this could be over. Uh, they're, they could very well be jealous, wondering who it is that you're dating. Because I do see you at least entering into the dating scene now or very, very soon, okay? Meeting new people. So they're keeping a really watchful eye on you. Um, I feel like this person is in a lot of regret, though. Feeling very pessimistic. Thinking that you're not going to give them another chance. Yeah, they're wanting to know, do you have someone else? Have you met someone else? Are you in a relationship yet? I feel like this person is very respectful of you now. They may not have respected you before, but I feel like they do now. And I feel like they're coming from a place where they felt very trapped, very stuck. I feel like they're breaking free from that. Sorry about that, everybody. My battery died. Um, yeah, they feel very, they may feel very stuck, like not knowing how to approach you exactly, not knowing what they're going to say. They know they have to spend time and effort and try to get you to fall back in love with them again. Okay. But they are longing for you. Um, if you shared a home with this person in the past, they're homesick. They want to come back home. They don't want you moving on with anyone else. Yeah, and I feel like they're about to approach you collective, okay? This person could possibly bring you a gift. I feel like they may even bring you a ring, okay? And they're worried. They're worried that you're still upset with them. See, they're worried that... They're, that you're not going to love them the way that you used to anymore. They want to get you to fall in love with them all over again, okay? They know that you're upset. They're worried that um, you're too upset to give them another chance. And that could be it. But this person is moving. They're moving in your direction. They're taking that leap of faith just like how we started Okay, taking that chance, that leap of faith, a big, bold move. They're making a bold move in moving um, towards your community, wherever you are. Okay, because they're really hoping. I'm hearing hoping and wishing and praying and hoping. I don't know how that song goes or who does it, but yeah, they're... Um, they're going to be moving in your direction, so get ready for that. You may bump into this person in your community, okay? But I feel like they are, they are coming in to make things right. And they're very hopeful they can make this work. And they know they have to put in the effort to make you fall in love with them again. But this person has a problem. They... Like I said, they might not even be aware that they're doing this. But um, they go from one person to the next because they don't like to be alone. And they have to spend that alone time in order to heal so they don't bring baggage into the next relationship. And that's what they're doing here, just so you know. Do they want you back? Yes. Are they ready? No. Okay. Let's see what they want to say. What does this person want to say to the collective? What do they want to say? I'm putting myself first right now. No one makes me feel the way you do. You are the best I ever had. Yeah, they're saying already they're not the same person. 
Okay, but here's the thing. They just broke off from a karmic connection. You know, and I feel like they do have these patterns about them. This is a pattern of behavior for this person. You know, they think as soon as they break up, they're ready to be in another relationship. They break up with that person. I'm ready to be in another relationship. You know, this person's never going to be really, truly ready to be in a relationship unless... They figure out what's causing the breakups, okay? And in order to do that, they need to spend time alone. They need to heal from some things, okay? I feel so guilty about my actions and what I said to you. I want to take care of you the way you've always taken care of me. But they can't take care of you unless they can take care of themselves first. And this person's not doing that, okay? They just, but they don't realize that this is a problem for them. I know I was wrong by not talking to you. Would you be open to talking now? I'm learning a spiritual lesson. <laughs> yeah. I love you so much no matter what. But I never expected to fall in love. Yeah, they didn't expect to fall in love with you, but they did. Okay? And now they know you're spiritually connected. Okay? Okay? Yeah. I don't want to let you go. I miss being with you. I'm afraid of hurting you. Because they already did that, and look where it got them, right? They hurt you before, and look where it got them. They don't want to hurt you again. They don't want to be without you again. They're just not ready yet. I can't take being away from you any longer. I remember how we used to laugh and talk for hours about everything. I miss you. Yeah, I feel like this person is longing to hear your voice. They're longing to see your face. Um, they just want to talk to you. They want you to talk to them. Like, they want to hear you talk to them, okay? I feel like they want to hear what you think. They want to hear how you feel, and they're going to do whatever they can to get you to fall in love with them again. But, you know, they're coming with some baggage, okay? So just use your intuition, all right? 